The Q2 update for MechWarrior Online is out, guys. Let's talk about the cool new stuff coming to the game in the second quarter of this year. Hi, friends. I'm TTB. Welcome back to MechWarrior Online news. Let's chat about this latest bit of news released just today by PGI. It's a hectic and exciting time at Piranha Thames. I can guess that's going to be the case. There is MechWarrior 5 Clans on the horizon. Solaris Showdown was released in mid-March. There was a new patch for MechWarrior Online released in mid-March. And they also dropped the GDC demo and trailers for MechWarrior 5 Clans in early April. We already talked about that, I already did a preview video on that. And there's still more stuff to come. Remember, PGI is, and this is on quote from a PGI staff member, they're working on another DLC for MechWarrior 5 Mercs. They're working on, of course, MechWarrior 5 Clans. And of course, there is the uh, potential MWO2 in the Mercs. So, good stuff, good stuff happening. So. What's gonna happen? In the April patch, we get the Blackhawk KU. And that thing is going to be the first Inner Sphere Omni Mech ever in Mech Warrior Online. So, seeing that thing, Templar is still on the horizon, hopefully. But yeah, this one is basically going to be the Draconis Combines version of a uh, Nova. That has eaten a little bit too much sushi. Because this is going to be a heavy mech at 60 tons. Which is also going to be the problem. It is going to be a 60 tonner. Which is at a, at a weird spot. Because 55 is, is a heavy medium mech. And 60 tons is a, it's a super light heavy mech. So we'll see what this is going to have. But I'm guessing it's going to have like... Um, hopefully some cooling or whatnot. If this is going to be... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 14 medium lasers. Ah, it's gonna be a problem. Also, what kind of engines will this thing run? Because if this thing runs Inner Sphere XL engines, it's gonna be super easy to kill. Will this have Clan Tech engines? I wonder. More details about the pack next week in the patch notes. The basics are 60 tons, we ha will have two versions the BH the BHKU-0 and the BHKU-OX plus special versions of those mechs which will come with uh, I'm guessing different paint jobs there will be three extra omnipods from other variants one for the right arm two for the left arm and four mech base in that pack plus new badge title decal new warhorn, new hanging item and uh, cockpit items plus additional currencies with 200 gsp and a reminder guys and this is important so listen up when you buy this pack do not sell do not sell do not sell your standard versions of those mechs because you will need them to complete the challenge event because otherwise if you do that, you'll have to gonna have a cry. You're gonna come crying to me. And then I will tell you that you have to ask uh, PGI support very very nicely to get your mechs back so that you can do the event. So just don't sell the mechs, okay? I said it three times now. There will be no mini battle pass this time because these are not legendary mechs. And that is it on this mech so far. So this is gonna be an energy weapon mech, and it's basically gonna be the heavier cousin. It looks like of the Nova. Very beefy. Looks fun. Okay. Then we have the May patch. In the May patch, we will have a completely new chassis coming to MechWarrior Online, which is not going to be revealed yet. Although, maybe maybe I can pester Darren a little bit to give us a teaser or something. It's going to be in a pack that will be structured similarly to the Stone Rhino and Longbow packs, with one collector pack with two add-ons. Since they're mentioning two assault mechs here, is this going to be an assault chassis? I wonder. New Chess will also have a mech challenge event, launching shortly after the release, of course. And then one month after, in June, we will get two new legendary mechs. More info, of course, to come. And I agree, it's an exciting time to be a Mech Warrior fan. So yeah, new mechs coming. New chassis coming. This is the Blackhawk KU is going to be a new chassis. And the uh, May patch is going to give us a new chassis as well. Of course, we still don't have news on the april patch as far as i know the april patch will have a lot of balancing around the weapons that were released last month so it's gonna be interesting to see what they do there um 
yeah, I mean, hey, you know what? It's one of the comments that one of you guys made in the in one of my video descriptions that just keeps resonating with me because it is so true. There are very few game companies out there that keep supporting and posting updates to a game that's this old. And I understand, sure, of course, it's about cash flow. If, if they wouldn't make uh, any money from it, they wouldn't be doing it. But still, in an environment where so many game companies take their games that are like three years old, four years old, five years old, they just throw out all the support, no more multiplayer, yada da, see you later, sorry that you bought our game. It's nice and refreshing to see that a company like PGI just keeps the support going. So, thank you for that. Guys, what's your most important takeaway from this? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much, supporters. Couldn't do it without you. If you want to join Team TTB, check out the Join button right here on YouTube. Super thanks button in the comment section. Or, of course, the links to Patreon or the merch store listed in the video description.